In this video, we are going to use bubbles to demonstrate properties of the cell membrane. The reason we are going to use bubbles is because they have some very similar characteristics to your cell membrane. For example, you should already know that your cell membrane is a phospholipid bilayer, meaning that it has two layers and the molecules or some of the molecules that it is made of is called a phospholipid. This is a phospholipid. A phospholipid has a phosphate water loving head with two fatty acid tails that are hydrophobic. I like to say that the heads love water while the tails are haters. They hide from the water. When it comes to soap, it is the opposite. The heads face the middle because the hydrophilic heads are attracted to the water in the middle layer. The tails face the outside because they have so much in common. We are able to use bubbles to help demonstrate some of the properties of our cell membranes, such as cell membranes are fluid and flexible. They can self repair and do so much more. I really love this activity and I hope you love it too. To demonstrate that, I have a bubble in this straw frame that I've made. And if you look closely, you should be able to see swirls. So you should be able to see swirls. You should be able to see the bubbles moving around within this frame. Notice that I can bend the frame and the bubble is there demonstrating its flexibility. And also notice, also notice that I can tilt the frame from side to side and it does not, the bubble does not pop as the same with your cell membrane. I can also bounce, 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 bounce. This is so fun. I can also bounce the bubble and notice that it does not pop immediately. So fortunately, your cell membrane is the same way. It is fluid and flexible. It is not hard and rigid. It is able to bend and move and it does not break easily. The cell membrane can self-repair. This is an awesome thing. I have a frame. I have a bubble in this frame. And look what happens when I stick my finger through. The bubble is still there. Oh, the reason why it popped is because I touched it. I touched the bubble with the portion of my hand that does not have bubble solution on it. If I get more of my hand wet, I can stick more of it through and notice that it self repairs. I can do this with anything that I have dipped into the bubble solution. A dropper. This pencil. It doesn't matter. Cell membrane self repairs. Cells have membrane bound organelles. I'm first going to get a portion of the lab table wet with bubble solution. So let's pretend, let's imagine that this is the cell membrane. Notice, I don't know if you can see, but you can actually see the bubble solution swirling around. So imagine that as the phospholipids of your cell membrane constantly moving, changing places with one another. Remember the cell membrane is not stagnant.
It's fluid and it is flexible. It is always moving. Oh, I popped it. Now, let me get my straw a little bit more wet. And now I have a bubble in a bubble. That bubble in the bubble represents a membrane-bound organelle. If you haven't listened to the song already, go to This Is My Cell song to learn about a few organelles. Popped it. There we go. Gap junctions aid in transport between animal cells. I'm first going to make a bubble. And notice, as I continue to blow into the bubble along the side, that was a gap junction. That gap junction allows for transport between animal cells. So, as I continued to blow into the bubble, even though I wasn't in it, I was transporting air to that bubble through the gap junction model. So, here is my string. Here is my bubble frame. And I'm going to get the string in the frame. Oh, man. It's on the side. Frame. String. Okay, so if you look closely, I have a hole in the string. We have a hole in the string and that represents a channel, a protein channel. Things that can't fit through the phospholipids can go through this special channel, large things like you learned in the game you played. So how cool is that? I finally got it to work. So, I can drop. <laughs> Many bacteria cells reproduce by binary fission, asexual reproduction. So simply put, I have a string under the bubble and I'm simply going to divide the bubble in half. I don't know if I can do it again. Let's try. There we go. 